Hi everybody, this is a small demonstration of IoT. Uh, this is a project which I took off to convert one of the RC enabled toy car into a Wi Fi enabled uh, toy car <laughs> basically. So, this is a toy car of my kid and uh, So if you see, so it has four wheels and it basically it has only two way movement. One is forward, another is backward, and this was basically the RC remote. Yeah. So you can see there were two buttons. One is for forward movement, another is for backward movement. So what I have done basically, I have hacked this. RC enabled remote and I have connected the relay this two relay basically with these two switches and I control the relay with the uh, Wi-Fi module that is popular ESP 8266 version 1 okay I will go into detail of how it's working and before that uh, <coughs> What I need to tell you that I have created another small web server here so basically it is just a minute yeah so the web server is hosted on this IP that is uh, 192 one dot one 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 and I'm running the service on this port that is four three four okay now you can see there are three options one is to forward second is reverse and the third one is to stop the car so if we just select the first one you can see it's wirelessly connected, relay got enabled, the RC switch is fixed and it's making this movement. I change the movement to reverse. You can notice that the card movement has been changed from forward to backward. And finally I select the option to stop and it stops yeah so there are plenty of areas of improvement basically one is on the web server you can see that uh, as of now I'm not able to hold the selection of the radio button so that we can do little bit of work on the uh, code the HTML part so what I have done I have basically given the status of the last selected direction okay that means if, if I remove it although the selection is not there still it is showing the last selected direction as reverse I change it to forward it changes accordingly Yeah, of course, those who are interested to see the car actually moving, let me do that.
So once again, the full movement. We hit. Stop. So advantage of turning a RC enabled car into a Wi-Fi enabled is manifold. One of that is, uh, first of all, you are not going to spend money behind motors, the chassis, okay, and the battery holder, all these things. And at the same time, uh, you are really not tampering the car because end of the day, your kid will ask and hey, Papa, where is my car? Give me the car back. So I had to consider all these things and. So only thing what I have to compromise is that if you see this part so basically yeah you can see the small hole in the RC remote so I have just extended the uh, few cables those are connected directly to these two switches and those cables I have connected to the relay okay and this relay module is actually controlled by the two GPIO pins of ESP8266 yeah so that's simple at the same time I will show you that how the relay modules are getting triggered so when I you can see either of these LED will be on I select forward, I select reverse, I select stop. Yeah. And don't be confused with so many words and you might have noticed there is an Arduino board as well. So, but basically in this project the purpose of Arduino board was nothing. Uh, apart from just uploading the code into uh, into this Wi-Fi module and that is here so yeah so this is the one so whole program is loaded into this module itself yeah of more things mm, this Arduino board is just used to provide the power supply so it has a 3.3 volt power supply you can see this red cable is connected to this 3.3 volt and the black one is to the ground so that is powering up this Wi-Fi module on the breadboard yeah and these two this black and uh, gray these two pins were basically used to upload the program and that time i connected those two to the uh, rx and tx of the arduino board just to uh, upload the program and uh, yeah that's it and basically one more thing of what i observed that mm, i could not use the common power supply for both this relay as well as uh, these wi-fi module because there were some sort of interference which were toggling the switch so i have used a separate power supply unit for the relay board okay but one thing to remember even if you use separate power supply uh, the ground pin okay so uh, the ground pin of this power supply unit had to be uh, connected to the ground pin of the uh, Wi-Fi module on the breadboard so this ground is connected and basically you can see that in the relay module there are you can see this 
R1 is for plus 5 volt, second is ground, third one is R1 and R2. So those are the two data pins which enables the relay. <clears throat> yeah, I think now visibility is clear. I just switched off the power supply to relay. Yeah, so this R1 and R2 are connected to the uh, GPIO 0 and GPIO 2. Okay, I will later explain the schematic diagram how the connection is performed. And yes, that's it. So, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.